Hey guys, what's up? It's Teeds with Four Dad here. Getting another Let's Play 18 with Teeds in. Today we'll be at Dragonfly Golf Course. You see I'm rocking the brand new Four Dads hats that we got made with Stay Fly and Go Low underneath the brim. Got our logo in the back as well. Honestly, it looks really, really sick. And then on the side here, you can also see the podcast little logo on the side, which I thought was a nice little touch. Like I said, today I'll be playing at Dragonfly Golf Course. Really looking forward to it. First day in my joggers. First attempt playing golf in joggers. Really interesting to see how I'll play in them. Definitely a little self-conscious, but, you know, it is what it is. That's how it goes over here at 4 Dad. Stay fly and go low. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Starting the round with the big dog, of course. First swing in the joggers. And first tee jitters hit hard. Super pissed about this. But fortunately, I do end up in the fairway. So because of that, I'm still about 154 yards out. Go with a nine iron here. And he absolutely hit this thing flush. Perfect. Probably the best shot that I could have had with this. Even though I did carry it about five yards or so right over the flag. Still give myself a decent opportunity for a birdie here. And I drain it. And just like that, first tee jitter. Shake them off. Move on to hole number two. Again, going with the driver on the par 5 here, as this time I have an issue that I hook my tee shot or duck hook it into the high weeds here. This honestly was a terrible, terrible shot. I'm actually surprised that I actually found my ball as I'm trying to go right at that tree to the left there and actually hit it perfectly. And it goes right through. didn't hear any tree at all. It was actually an insane shot. And it sets me up perfectly for my approach shot at about 74 yards or so away. Go my 58 degree wedge here and hit, put a good swing on it as well. And I put myself an opportunity to somehow come out with a birdie after hooking my shot terribly as the putt, not so fortunate to put for par, still one under after two holes. No complaints there after I duck hooked it into the woods. First par three of the day here, going with the pitching wedge, a little uphill, about 135 yards. And again, I put an excellent swing on this, made great contact. And this one is tracking right at the flag. Ends up being about two to three yards short, about six feet or so. It gives me a hard right to left breaker here. I don't hit it hard enough. Two putt for par, no complaints. On a hole, that's always had my number. Drivable par four here, going with the driver again, trying to hit it over those trees. Hit a good drive, first one of the day. A little bit of a fade, accidental fade, definitely not on purpose. Put myself at a good spot here, about maybe 30, 40 yards away, uh, just right of the green, actually. That fade kind of pushed it a little bit and put a really, really good pitch shot on this as the shot chaser is terrible again. But no complaints on this shot as it puts me about 9 feet away for birdie. Slight right to left, I think. And I put, pull it a little bit and barely miss this. And just like that, I'm still 1 under after 4, but could have been 2 under or 3 under. But I'm still under par and happy. Coming up to the second par 3 of the day, and it started to rain here, which is actually crazy because there's like a 10% chance of raining here in California. Go with my pitching wedge here not really sure why i pulled this instead of the nine iron which it probably would have given me a much better opportunity i strike it really really well but it ends up being way short and probably about like five or ten yards off of the green and i put a decent chip on it probably the best chip shot chaser i've ever had honestly uh but it does roll a lot more left than i expected a lot more rollout and i don't even get this on camera but i end up two putting for bogey and just like that even par So after five holes, I'm even going with the driver on the par five, six hole here. And I'm going over the right bunker here. That's the goal. And my drive ends up fading again. Good contact, fading just to the right of the cart pass. So it doesn't put me in a terrible position here, but it does make a difficult approach shot as I'm just under 200 yards out going, I believe, with a five iron here on the hard, hard ground. And I chunk it. Fortunately, it moves up about 70 yards of roll just down and gives me about 120, 115 yards out. Ball above the feet here, which makes a little bit of a difficult shot. And somehow I push it again. And this one ends up laying right 
in the bunker in front of the hole. And this one really irritates me because it gives me a very difficult shot about 40 or so yards away. And this one honestly scares me. I'm trying to get it up and over and I end up clipping the bunker and have to take my second shot from the bunker. And here I just want to get it out, open up the face and I clip it and thin it and hit it about 40 yards past the green, probably about 80 yards in total. On the other side of the green now, going for bogey, Right here, again, off the hard ground. Pitch shot about 40 or so yards, 50 yards out. Decent pitch shot. I mean, I'm just extremely frustrated at this point because now I'm scrambling to just maybe get a triple bogey if I'm lucky. And now I'm still off the green, chipping onto the green, give myself a difficult shot here. Look at that amazing shot tracer there. Again, about nine or so yards out, about 27 feet. And fortunately, I give myself a decent chance to two putt it here, which I do, but it ends up being a nine for a quad bogey. And after starting five, even now I am four over after six. Now I'm desperately looking for some redemption here after that quad bogey. I can't even remember the last time I had a quad bogey, and I love this par 4 seventh hole. Going with the driver again, and end up putting an excellent swing on it. Probably one of the best drives that I had of the day, straight as an arrow down the fairway, exactly where I wanted to put it here. And honestly puts me in good position to score, as I am about 55 yards out. But the pin placement was a little intimidating here, as it at the edge of the cliff that literally drops off about two feet. So it really did scare me a little bit. I did not put a good pitch on this one as I'm putting from the fringe and the ball went right instead of left. Not a good putt off the fringe. Now I'm scrambling for par a few feet away and I can't even hit that. Putter has been very, very cold today. Plus five over the last two holes after shooting even on the first five. That's golf, baby. Coming up on the par four eighth hole, going with a driver again, feeling a lot more confident with it after a slow start, hit an excellent drive with a slight little fade here or cut if you want to say, definitely unintentional, but it does set myself up again for a good approach shot. I'm about 40, 50 yards out for a pitch uphill and this one again gets pushed to the right and barely misses the green. This one honestly really hurt because I put myself in a good scoring opportunity and I wasn't even able to get close to that. And I'm putting from off the fringe again and I absolutely smash this as it goes off the camera. You can't even see where it ends up. Give myself a very difficult scrambling right to left putt and I don't even hit it hard enough. And now I scrambled again, back to back bogeys, plus six on the round. Finishing the front nine with the par four here, going again with driver two fairways left and right. I always aim right down the middle, and this one starts on the right fairway and ends up hooking left just in front of the left fairway and another great shot tracer by shot tracer app thank you so much for that uh give myself a decent opportunity again to attack the hole here as it's starting to rain a little bit again about 122 yards out or so I end up being short of the hole am on the green another green regulation i've had a decent amount of those today but i have not been able to convert that's definitely been my concern and issue all day today so far here as i'm about 33 feet out for birdie and probably one of the better putts of the day especially with the distance given give myself an opportunity for a two putt for par to end six over on the front nine and hoping for a better back nine. Really hoping to turn it around on the 10th hole here. I love this hole, had a lot of success with this hole. Pars, birdies, really hoping for everything to right, go right here, right this train, smash my drive again over those trees. Short par four here, about 337. So this one definitely gives me a good opportunity if I don't hit it in one of the bunkers. And I get up to there and I'm in the bunker at the edge of it, which is difficult because about 38 or nine yards out. So I try to hit it hard and end up sculling this one, losing my ball. And just like that, I am scrambling for bogey. So excellent. Just having an absolute blast of a round right now. No jokes aside here. Uh, now I'm on my fourth shot down the hill, about 30 yards or so out, and I can't even make it to the green. Great shot tracer by Shot Tracer App. Thank you again for that. Shout out to you. Going with another little chip here. This is honestly not a terrible chip by me by any means. Uh, though I am scrambling right now for double bogey if I can make this short putt. 
but story of the day. I have not been able to make any putts today, except for that first one on the first hole, which was a complete fluke, as you can see with the rest of the round. Triple bogey. Let's move on to 11. Normally this hole, I am very scared to go over those trees because they're about 50 yards away, but I say screw it. I've had a terrible round so far, so I'm just going to try and hit this driver over the trees, and I smash my driver. Probably the best shot on hole 11 that I've ever had in my life. Uh, just because I never go driver, I never am able to clear those trees, able to get it up. And then 77 yards out, and this is probably the best pitch shot that I've had on this hole, hands down. I honestly thought it almost rolled into the hole. Ends up being about four to five feet short, just in front of it, giving me an excellent opportunity for birdie, but I can't drain it. Why would I drain it? I just can't drain any birdie putts today. The amount of opportunities that I had, I just hit, cannot do it. Mentally, I'm off, and it's irritating the crap out of me. Moving on to 12. This is the last part three that I ever want to come up to. I always struggle with it. Wind always seems to come from the right to left over that hill on the right side. But I hit an decent, a decent shot, honestly, right here. Except the downside is the pin was on the opposite side of where I ended up hitting it. I ended up being 90 feet from this pin. 9-0. And I smashed my putt. When's the last time anyone's ever practiced 90-foot putts? I don't even know if they have practice screens that long. I smashed my putt. Now I'm scrambling for par again. Look at how far I am, about 12 feet out, right to left. And it doesn't even go right to left. It went more straight than anything. But just like that, I three-putt after getting another green irregulation, going to 10 over on the round. Ouch. <laughs> This is by far my favorite par five of this hole as I'm aiming right for those trees, clearing those trees here. As you see the angle that I'm going for, ready for the driver to take flight, and I smash my drive. A little off balance swing doesn't really have any effect on this as I easily clear the trees. And honestly, this is insane. I'm about 120, 128, 129 yards away. To reach the green in two, and I go up my 54. Definitely should have gone with my 50 degree because I end up being, again, 88. 90 feet away on the green yeah i'm on the green in two but it doesn't help you at all when you're 90 feet away and this one's uphill so i don't even hit it as hard and i leave myself short again so this is extremely irritating back to back green and regulation this one's like green under regulation or whatever you want to call it and i can't i three putt again this time for par not the end of the world but it's still irritating when i had such a close approach shot and i couldn't convert Par four over the water here. Another beautiful hole. Great day. Look at the view. And I absolutely smashed my driver. Honestly, I thought this one was going in the hole. As dumb as that sounds, because yes, it is about 360 away. I do not have the power whatsoever. It looks like it was right there, right out on the green. I get up there. Still about 50, 60 yards short. What else to expect from me? I don't have the power. It is what it is. But Decent pitch shot, put it on the green, give myself an opportunity, but I am far away. It's not 90 feet. It's about 40 or so, if my math does go correctly. Well, was a history major in college, but I do put a nice two-putt on it, so I can't get any mad about that. Back-to-back -back pars. I'll take pars all day. I would love birdies, but hey, it is what it is. That's golf, baby. my round in the dumps i'm just going for this green normally i try to lay up left of those trees because it's like dog leg to the right but here i go with the big dog itself hit a little fade again on, on accident it's not intentional this might be my new miss but hitting it over those trees didn't hear any trees there and i actually do find my ball and there is a shot right there you see where i placed the flag just straight ahead about 90 or so yards out Pull, pull it a little bit, and you're going to see where my ball ended, and you're going to be like, wow, how lucky were you to not have this one go in the bunker. There's a bunker just left of me, and I can't believe it didn't actually didn't go in there. Chip it down to the hill, scrambling for a par. Story of the round, except for the first hole. And again, a close putt. I don't think it's four yards away. Maybe about four feet, five feet. Can't make it. Bogey. Last par three of the day, 144 yards out, pin on the left side. Again, my drive, hitting it well, going to the right side. And just like previously on the previous par three, I end up with about a 90 
foot putt. The good news on this one, though, is it's a double breaker, so it goes down the hill and up the hill. So I have an extremely difficult putt here, leaving it short, story of the day, just not able to have any confidence in my putts. Definitely has something to do with me not having any practice putts before the round, but crush that putt, somehow make the comebacker for a bogey, and just like that, 12 over on the round, going on to the back-to-back par fives to finish the round. Really hoping for a birdie or two on these last holes here. Par five, going with the driver, just trying to make a good contact, just trying to put myself in position to attack the hole, give myself an eagle or birdie opportunity. This is definitely the longest par five on the course. Hit it very well, put a good swing on this one, and I'm about two... 35 out. I almost brought out the three wood, but I didn't want to hit it too far. And I chunked my four iron hybrid or four iron utility, should I say, into not even a bunker, just a dirt patch on the left side of the fairway, which has a lip. And I'm about 100 yards out. I got the 58 wedge and I skull it. Look at that thing just takes off. And I thought I'd lost this ball. 100% thought I'd lost this ball. Shot past the fairway shot past the green and somehow there is a little wall of trees right there and it actually landed right in front of us must have hit it and stopped so i do have an opportunity getting up and down here look at that shot tracer by shot tracer of the day right there but i do chip it onto or sorry pitch it onto the green give myself an opportunity for bogey but i mean why would i hit make the par make 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 the putt right like i just have not been able to do that all day can't even keep it in the camera and can't even get the camera right right here as i'm so frustrated but bogey Moving on to the 18th. Last hole of the day, the shortest par 5, the converted par 4 to a par 5, probably to give people some confidence coming into it, thinking I'm going to come back and play some golf after birdieing this, what should be a par 4. Hit a decent drive. You know, the down part is right into the bunker. Right into the bunker. Just my luck. Have to end it well. Now I'm about 205 out. Take out the five iron here, and I'm just trying to make some good contact. When's the last time anyone's ever hit a bunker fairway shot? Very rare, very difficult to do. Thin it. Terrible shot, honestly. Give myself a very difficult shot that I honestly have to flop onto the green. A blind shot. I don't even know where it's going. I make great contact, and shot taster's a little slow on this one, but it ended up, on, ended up being probably the best flop shot of the day probably the only flop shot but i can confer for birdie so i start the day with a birdie and end the day with a birdie with a plus 12 85 overall honestly i had so many opportunities in the beginning of the day with my greens and regulations i believe i had around 11 or 12 green regulations just could not convert any of my putts and those long putts absolutely killed i definitely give the joggers a 10 out of 10 first time i ever played with joggers first time i ever worn joggers and felt a lot of flexibility had a great time had no issues with my swing or cutting anything off or feeling restricted highly recommend if you're looking for pants and you play with jordans to be playing with joggers they make you look the best and that is how we roll stay fly and go low We'll see you next time. If you haven't left a like, please do. Take care.